Hello, welcome to Bible Guru. Thanks for joining us in our journey through the Bible. Philippians chapter 3, beginning at verse 12. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Siblings, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. We live in disturbing times. In a society that vies for our attention, Recent research indicates that when we are trying to divide our attention between devices and the internet and the environment directly before us, we lose our ability to choose what to focus on. And our focus of our attention is not capable of going deep and long on a difficult problem. We as a species are changing the way our brains work, and it seems not for the better. Our cell phones are now even interfering in our relationships, competing for our attention in ways that are sometimes shocking. But people of an earlier age understood the value of focused attention across time. I'd like to start with three stories. First, Albert Einstein. He figured out that the speed of light is a constant in a vacuum, no matter the frame of reference. He published that in his special theory of relativity in 1905. He knew that the theory had implications for gravity, but he couldn't figure out those implications. He worked on the problem for 10 years. Then on the way home from lecturing, in a flash of insight, he understood that gravity is a curvature of space-time. He published his general theory of relativity that year, 1915. In his paper, he predicted this theory would be proven, if true, by gravitational lensing, by viewing stars through the sun's corona, whose positions should be adjusted as the light passed the sun. Those stars were normally invisible. Scientists cooperating together internationally proved this in 1919 during World War II. Einstein also predicted gravitational waves in that 1915 paper. They were not proven until 2016 by the LIGO Observatory with the measurements of waves created by the conjunction of two black holes to form one new, much more massive black hole. It took Einstein 10 years working constantly to have a leap of insight that changed the way we view our universe. That was the first story. Story number two. David was a king. He was a musician. He was a conquering warrior and a prophet. He was a pretty impressive guy. And his words still have an impact on the world today. His Psalm 23 is the most recognized passage from Scripture from any religion worldwide. But he seems to have been unimpressed with any of these accomplishments. He doesn't talk of any of these things as his special goal. Instead, he said, One thing I ask of the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Example number three. Paul was a religious and philosophical leader. He planted dozens of churches. He trained dozens of ministers. He wrote about half of the letters of the New Testament, and his life and teachings still have an impact on billions of us today. But he, like David, seemed unimpressed. To him, he was only doing one thing, pressing on towards the mark of the high calling for which he was called heavenward in Christ Jesus. We set a lot of goals. Goals are good. 
and we can accomplish great things like Einstein, David, and Paul only by staying focused on one thing for a long time as much as is required until we find a solution to a problem. But we can accomplish great things for eternity only by staying focused on one thing, and that is our relationship with God. Maybe this is part of what Jesus meant when he said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Where is your focus? Do you have a focus? What are your goals? Do you have a bucket list that has nothing to do with the calling God has placed on your life? Do you allow devices and entertainment to dominate your thinking? Maybe it's time to take a breath, shut off the phone, disconnect from the net, and spend time with the Lord. Jesus said to Martha, 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 you are worried and concerned about many things, but one thing is needed. A prayer for today. Father, teach me to turn my eyes upon Jesus. Turn my focus away from my goals and my plans, my devices and entertainments, and let me see only you. Let me know the joy of a still and quiet heart. Then speak to me. Sing to me, Lord, as only you can. Teach me the song. I'll sing with you. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of your glory and grace. I know only with you as my focus. I will see your magnificent will for my life fulfilled. In the name of the one who focused on the joy that was set before him so that he could set the pace for the rest of us. Amen.